Last time on the Pelican Bay trip 2020, we were throwing the net for bait down near the train trussle near Placida. We were looking for a place to cross uh, to get over to the beach and we got a rope caught in our prop. We had to stop and deal with that. But eventually we did find a good place and we found the beach. Okay guys, you know we like to give something away uh, within the first minute of each video. So if you hadn't already done so, hit the bell notification so you'll have a chance to win. This week we're giving away another koozie and we've got something special next weekend. So make sure you pay attention. We're going to be giving away a Good Times mug. They're going to be available on the website in a couple of days, but I'm going to show you a picture. And that's going to be available on the giveaway next week, next Wednesday. All right, so the question for this week was, we got something caught in the prop. It's an easy one. What was it? What did we get caught in the prop? Leave your answer below. First one gets a good time koozie. Y'all remember next week, we're going to have these giveaway for the new Good Times coffee mug that's going to be available at michaeljsteen.com. to get here. Man, I gotta tell you, it's always super cool to find these beaches when there's nobody or very few people there. And I don't know if the camera does it justice. I really don't think it does. But that water was so pretty, that turquoise color. It was so inviting. But man, it was cool to find this spot. Yeah, so I don't know if y'all figured it out. I believe you probably have, but I sure love to get in the water every chance I get. It's called the captain's plunge, baby. Get near that water, you gotta get in. Oh, this is nice. This water this feels good. I don't know what it is, probably 80 degrees. Very refreshing, but not cold. We capitalized and we're out in the middle of the ocean. We're just barely making it. We're swimming. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we can make it. I don't know where Marty and the dogs are. They're gone. They seem to be... We got separated. Just kidding. There they are.
pretty cool. Looks like they all are mostly coming from that end. That part. So after enjoying the beach for a while, playing around, um, a couple like a people right came there. up and we decided it was time to head on back to good time, start heading north. I think I want to uh, see what the inlet's looking like, go off like just 100 yards where I'm not in too deep of water, three or four foot or four or five foot of water, if the waves is all right, and snorkel. Because they say, I'm going to do a little bit of research, but they say there's like this is the best place to find shark's teeth for some reason. And they say you can find megalodons here. There's a little shore dive that's supposed to be. There's a shelf dive, I should say. It's only a mile out of the inlet. I don't know exactly where it is, but... Oh, yeah. That chicken egg? Looks like it. It looks like it. Chicken egg giving up here. Yeah. That's my... Nice. Maybe they camp out here. Maybe you can. Just come later. When there ain't gonna be no guards coming back. Ain't gonna be nobody here. That water felt amazing. You want to do the thing? The thing. To uh, try to empty it out, you think? Oh, yeah, you know what I'm going to do. So you're talking about just take this off? Yeah. And then. Todd? Nope. Yeah, I'm going to take the motor. The drains are in the front. So, so pretty much over the past week, the Bass Raider had gotten some water in it. So um, we needed to get the motor off, and since we're on dry land here, and tilt it and let some of that so water pull drain it up out. The hill? Once we got all the water out of it, it took us about 10 minutes. 
we put everything back on, got the motor back on, and then uh, headed back out to Good Times. We weighed anchor, turned north, headed for Venice Inlet. We wanted to get up there uh, around the island, as you're going to see, and hang out for a little bit. that area just before Venice so obviously a man-made with all them rocks and all green mags I've stopped here many times easy in and out don't have any current it's usually pretty easy Okay, so just to give you a little overhead about where we were, this here, this corner right here is where we crossed over to the beach. And then we left and we went up through that ditch that I was talking about. We passed Marine Max right there. Um, we came on up, coming in towards the area and town of Venice. Came in and around and you make your way through this little cut here. Up, and then we came up to this island. Let's scan in. As you can see, this is the inlet, but this was the island that we were coming to. This is a really pretty place in here. I always love stopping here. And you'll see we came in and parked right up under at this edge, and we were basically under the shadows of this tree right here. But this is a really cool, neat little island. It's best to go during the week. The weekends, it's going to be really packed. But as you can see, boats can come in here, smaller boats. And on the weekends, it will be packed. I actually paddled around the island. It's not very big at all. But, um, yeah, it's definitely pretty cool. Well, we're in Venice, and we just dropped the anchor right up near this island that's four feet deep. I'm going to shut your, in, your engines? Yeah. I'm going to go around the other side and you're going to see the inlet. It's too shallow over there for us. But how pretty it is. I think I can step off the boat right here. I'll be able to step right off the back. Nice. Venture, we're there. I have to put that thing back that way. What I'll do is go straight out behind us, which should hold us kind of straight, you know what I mean? Like right at where we want it to. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Damn, that's perfect. We need our power poles. That's what I need. Hey, I need a power pole right there, dude. Talk to John, see if I can. <laughs> yep. Power pole right there. Another cool little adventure. Sign said something. Definitely uh, people camp out here.
Damn, this is a piece of heaven right here, boy. Dang it. This is so nice. Huh? Oh, I know, right? Or a table, maybe? It was a table? Pull up and do a cook and catch? Catch and cook? Okay, this video is Captain's Corner. We're going to talk about uh, anchoring real quick. Um, in a boat this size, you should certainly have a stern anchor. And you throw, you drop your front anchor More back in. down to basically where you want to be. And then in most cases, you your stern anchor and put it up on the bank or put it up somewhere and I that'll hold it off. in the position that you want to be. It sure makes life easier so you don't have to stand there and watch the boat and hold the boat or worry about the boat um you know running into something gosh, so if you have a right decent sized boat make sure you got a stern anchor or at least a boat that you can't uh. pull up on shore just going to circle the island one time for the video oh i'm connected All right, friends, this video is unreached over 15 minutes again. Try to hold my videos somewhere to that area. I'm going to leave the rest of it on the trip around the island for the extended version. So if you want to watch it, you're welcome to watch. If you hadn't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to win a koozie or some of the prize giveaways, hit that bell notification. Also, if you enjoyed the video, how about hitting that like button? If you enjoy the videos, how about share them with a friend? Let's help to get the word out. Let's help spread the fire. In the next video, we're going to leave out of Venice Inlet and work our way back up towards Bradenton. We're going to go in at Fort DeSoto and hang out there and stay one more night on the water. So we're definitely winding down on this series. Remember on the next video, our giveaway is going to be a coffee cup. Good times coffee cup. And there's more information about that coming. We'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all enjoy.
kayak's very comfortable. I like this way better than mine. I don't know if it's the seat. It's definitely this. Pretty nice, dude. Gotta drop me a plug here for anchorage. It's probably beautiful here if, if there's no mosquitoes. Oh, and it's you over there where I was saying is deep, like past the sign that says rocks. It's four foot, five foot deep. You could just sit right there. Cause I know you're not getting any wind back here. You got fans, but I'm just saying you could, you could, but if you anchored because of the way the wind's blowing, you're not going to see, you're not going to be looking that way. So it don't really matter.